Welcome back everyone, it's your coach Blake the Black Faker and today, 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 we're going to be going over how to shot call for your team. You have to make sure you have the right macro decisions. There's no way you can be a shot caller by calling random stuff. And if you want to learn those secrets to that, stay tuned. But for first, but for first, what? But for first, what the fuck? But first, make sure you subscribe. 200 subscribers, you get a free coaching session. If you guys would like a free bot review, today is the day to submit your op.gg in my Discord. And we'll get that situated, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. If you want to learn the shot call, stay tuned. All right, so this game here, this is my mid lane account. Um, I have an account for each role. I want to know how to climb with each role so that I can teach you guys better. Brief note, when I do play support, when I do play mid lane, I actually play the champions that can't really hard carry. So I'm not playing stuff like Pike, playing stuff like Nautilus, playing stuff like Thresh, playing stuff like Zed, playing stuff like Yasuo, playing stuff like Akali, Diana. Like I'm not playing carry champions because I don't want to climb with the roles playing hard or playing hard carry champions because not everybody plays those champions right i can't climb mid as an assassin and then try to coach someone how to play a mage you know what i mean so i, I make sure that i am playing the mages and stuff because i know like for a fact i can carry with an assassin but i'm playing the mages and stuff just so that i understand the macro behind the play which is exactly why i was able to win this game because i understand the macro portion not just oh i'm super fed i can kill everybody because that's not going to last you're going to still go you're going to go against people that you just can't kill and then you're going to be stuck oh what the fuck do i do so it's not bad for playing assassins, but this is why I don't play any hard carry stuff for mid and support because I know for a fact that sometimes there are players that don't play that and it just wouldn't make sense to try to coach a mage or try to coach a Soraka if I only play hard carry shit. Stomp your game! Well, how the fuck do you do that with a goddamn Rise? How do you do that with a Soraka? How do you do that with a, you know what I mean? So this is why I do play that. Just a side note, anyway, back to the video. But shot calling doesn't matter. It goes for all roles. You need to understand the game regardless. Um, one thing that I will say is that you have to make sure you're doing it correctly. You cannot shot call and be the toxic guy. You cannot shot call. I was kind of toxic this game. I'm not going to lie. Their, their mental resilience was there, but I was a little, slightly toxic, just a little, and then I stopped, but just a little, a little, a little, but, um, you don't want to be toxic. You have to realize these guys are human. You know, these guys want to win just as much as you want to win. But the moment you start being mean, the moment you start showing that uh, you're mad and stuff like that, then like, you know, forget it. Why would why, why do I even want to play? You're making it hard. And there's a lot of people like that. Not even with just League of Legends. There's a lot of people like that in real life, where if you're playing with someone and someone's getting mad at you, you don't even want to play anymore. That's what causes people to leave games. That's what causes people to rage. That's, that's what causes people to not want to play anymore. You have to remember that. If you want to win your games, you're going to have to be positive. I think that's more important than being good at the damn game. If you could be positive, easy clap. So just make sure you remember they are people. They're not champions. They're people. Okay? So you have to treat them like that. Um, act like they're sitting there with you. You know? You're not going to be mean like that if you guys are all in the same room. Be positive. Now, what I will say is that this game didn't even start off going well. And that's why I wanted to use this game. Because it didn't go start off going well at all. So we're just going to kind of fast forward it here. Uh, just let it go. So I'm Twisted Fade into Tristana. Tristana was talking mad crap in the beginning. She was like, Twisted Fade's going to be 004, blah, blah, blah. And as a player like me, I know what Tristana does and I know how it works. I, I know how these players play and it's not, it's not uncommon. You just know. So I already know she's going to try to be super aggressive. I ping Vi back right here. Vi decides to go for the Contesta Crab. She dies for it. I'm like, man. And then I flash because I thought I can get away, but... I couldn't have. Um, I could have flashed earlier, but I just thought I could walk away. I should have just flashed instantly. So two people die for that one mistake from my jungler. And it kind of sucks because, like I said, I, I definitely did my best. So I was typing to her. I was like, you can't contest. We're too weak. And she, and then um, I was like, just whenever I ping you, j just leave. Whenever they come and show up, just leave. Um, like I said, she has some really good mental resilience. Um, like I said, We got to word your stuff better. So she starts rotating. I'm like, ping back, back. I can't really help you, unfortunately, but I just ping back. And then she left which is good, right? And so she was really listening. And I was like, just just can't mid. Or not not right here. I'm sorry. This is where she went mid. And I was like being a little toxic. I was like, I have gold card. Just can't mid. Um, and then that happened. She missed her Q. And then I was kind of salty there. I didn't like flame her. I was just kind of salty to myself. Like, um, damn, that fucking sucks. So she gets six. This is me typing again. I'm like, just don't worry about capping anybody. Just, 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 just worry about me. 
So then Tristana roams, and I was like thinking to myself, like this is gonna be a really hard game because Tristana is definitely playing that I'm just gonna be. She's playing like Quinn. You know, the players that play those champions that are just like, they're really good because they're playing against players that don't know how to play against it. So she's just doing that Tristana thing where she's just walking around. So I put a ward there and of course we've seen Tristana going and she's looking for our jungler. So I'm pinging my jungler back. She's staying safe, just making sure she watches out and we see her. Now in this particular situation, I didn't bother to ping her back. I didn't want to go for this, but I didn't bother to ping her back. I was just looking though. And I was like, oh, she hit the Q. That's perfect. Cause then she's six. She ults, boom, I'm on my way. She already jumped, she doesn't have it. Stun her, get her, boom. From this point on, um, I'm starting to dictate this game. From this point on, I'm just making it uh, say like, you know, every time you, you just camp mid and we got this. Now don't be that person that says, well, camp my lane and I carry the game. That's not what I mean. I just know that we need to shut her down and it's just really easy for her to do that. So she goes bot. I was like, don't worry about coming in until you have ultimate. So she was like, okay. And this is just the early landing phase. We're gonna skip through this as fast as possible because we gotta get to the point where it like starts mattering that we are shot calling. So we do try to go to Dragon. We try to get it. Uh, Kel is there, right? I already know Kel used her teleport. And I know Lissandra's here. There's no way we're getting this Dragon, especially because we're behind. There's just no no way in, in, in hell. So I just ping them back, tell them to leave, it's okay. And then I knew that Vi's a red buff is up. So in my head, I'm like, this Tristana is playing like a fucking numbskull. She's probably gonna wait. So they need Tristana or Wukong, but my money is on Tristana. So I was like, I want my my wave, but you know, just just wait, cause she's been just she's been doing the same thing each game. This is where you have to pay attention to how players play, understand what they are doing, and play against what they're doing. Don't just play against yourself or play against the champion. Understand the player. This is a strategy game. So I thought, well, you're probably just gonna come invader. It's a red buff, and you know that Vi is weak. So are you gonna do it? She shows up, boom. I didn't even have to ping Vi, I just sat there. As Soon as she comes in, we kill her. I was like, this is where I type. I said, just play slow. I know exactly what Tristan is gonna do before she does it. Um, and I said, I don't mean to be an asshole, but I'm gonna have to be if you wanna win this game. And then Vi was like, we'll call the shots, homie. And I was like, oh shit, all right, cool. I know I got you under my, under my radar. So right here, I pushed it out. And I was like, okay, something happened. I'm probably gonna have to rotate to this. So I just instantly go just to make sure. Cause I can't do anything mid, nothing's really happening top. I just, I gotta be a part of everything. And this goes for every role, okay? When you're trying to carry the games, you don't have the option to just do nothing. You have to kind of be a part of everything because you gotta dictate how it goes. You don't wanna fight going without you knowing first. You don't want anybody wiping their ass without you knowing first, okay? So you gotta make sure to pay attention. So I see that that, that dive happened and I know misfortune's low right here, but I said, you know, let me try to get this. So I flashed her before his W was able to be active again and I knew it was a free kill. I walked back. So then I'm like, well, this is pretty free here. Um, I wanted to get Misfortune, but I hit him. It's a lot more damage than I was expected. We got that. And I'm just pushing this up. I know that Leona was coming. She was coming bot. I pinged her to go mid. Pay attention. Micromanage everybody. Make sure that they understand, you know, what they need to be doing. So I'm going down here. I'm clearing. I see Tristana in my A. So we're pinging the top. Um, top just ends up dying. And I just told him again, you know, play slow. Understand what's going on. Play slow and we got this. So we're, we're playing slow. Um, every now and then people are dying. It's okay. I see Lissandra here and I know that I, my team is probably going to need me. So I start rotating. Um, I'm warding around. Make sure you are warding. It's very important because you can't shot call anything you can't see. I didn't want to show up. So I just kind of tossed my cards. Um, then we find she's there. Don't really get anything. And I, I'm still thinking like, what's the next plan of action? You know, what's the next thing that we do as far as the objectives coming up? I know dragons coming up and I know barons coming up, but I also see Wukong here. So I said, you know, go ahead and do dragon. And I, I, was, I was typing a lot more than I usually do. I usually have my chat disabled, but there's no way in hell I was communicating this game without pings. Because I'm a higher elo and obviously because I'm a coach, I understand that this game is too hard for them to understand. And I'm not saying low elo's dumb. I'm just saying low elo just doesn't know a lot of the stuff that they need to know, which is why they're not climbing. And so I knew this game was definitely a game you need to understand what's going on in order to win. And so I had to type a lot more than usual but once again remember that they are human don't be doing like a um leona spate or enter blah 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 don't don't do that you don't even have to call people out just say you know talk talk uh in third person <laughs> yeah talk talk in third person you know make sure it's like you know it's a we thing so i'm saying wukong's top just go to dragon and set up and then kel comes top and i looked and i was like okay she has teleport so then i ult in here um, just to, I ult, I keep ulting just to see where they are before I commit. So I ult in, I'm like, oh, this is free. We go for this, cool. 
Uh, we ended up messing up. I think this is where we die. Yeah, Wukong shows up and bro was I fucking salty, but it's okay. I was like, man, there's two top. We actually lost this fight. In my head, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, how can we lose this fight? Once again, though, they're human. They do not want to play with you if you're going to be an asshole. So you got to be smart. You got to make sure that you're being nice. Okay, well, we fucked up. Shit, it happens. Whatever, guys. I'm just saying, hey, remember to play slow. There's no reason to walk in. There's no reason to war. We don't need to see anything. Just, just play slow and we got this. Just play through my calls. I was like, we have to play through my calls in order for us to win. And then Kale walks in and dies. And I'm like, I have to type again. And I'm saying, you know, just remember that. Okay, after that play. Okay, after this play. I, was, I just I just typed again. I was like, remember that, you know, we can't uh, do anything. And then I can't walk in the jungle. So right here, I see Ash splitting. It's fine. I don't care. But I said, hey, yo, I pinged it. I pinged it. And I was like, Ash, launch that shit when I ping you for me, please. I remember to say please. So she didn't launch it. And I was in my head like, please, bitch, just throw this goddamn arrow. But I was able to stun her. Uh, Kale was able to come in. And then she launches the arrow, misses completely. But it's OK. Make sure I'm focusing the right targets. Get that one. Make sure I'm juking. Very good. Very good. And that was all with communication. I wish you launched it and landed it, but hey, it ain't perfect. And you gotta realize this, when you're playing in elos that are yours, nobody, it doesn't really matter where you are, but <laughs> lower elos, especially because I think a lot of people in lower elo think that the players are supposed to play perfect to their expectations, but they don't know. Just like if I will put anybody that is not diamond into a high diamond game, you're not gonna understand what to do and people are gonna be mad at you because you're not playing how they're supp you're supposed to play. So. It's the same thing, right? You're not better than them because you're in their elo. You have to understand that you are the one that has to just lower your expectations so that you're not frustrated. She didn't play how I wanted to play, but she got tower. She launched the arrow when I said it. She missed, but it's whatever. We ended up getting it. It would have sucked that. I mean, it would have been nice if she would have hit it, but it doesn't matter. So I pushed out a little bit. I know I can't push anymore. Once again, I'm typing. I'm just like, you know, hey, telling them what to do. Um, I said, don't walk in the jungle. We don't really need to know where anybody is. As soon as I see this fight break out, I ult. Ult instantly, because I want to see. Now, this is obviously something you can't do if you're not playing TF. Like I said, it doesn't matter, but you have to pay attention to what's going on. This is why I usually always take teleport, unless I'm jungle, of course, uh, or support or AD carry. But when I'm playing mid or top, I always take teleport. So I just ulted just to see where they were. Very good pick from that. And I was typing to him again. I was like, you know, we got this fight right here. Let's just fight this fight. But Kale decided to bat. So I was like, okay, just, just, just stop. Look how much I'm pinging. Like, I am pinging my ass off, bro. Ping, ping, twisted fate, twisted fate, twisted fate. Twisted fate, twisted fate, twisted fate, twisted fate. Like, I am pinging my ass off, plus typing. Bro, I am active in this fucking game, okay? A lot of people that complain that their teams don't listen don't really micromanage. They just kind of ping every now and then, or they type what they want every now and then, but that's not the same. And you have to remember, you have to know when your team doesn't know. You can't just be the shot caller all the time, and, and, and then even though they, they, they're thinking for themselves. You have to... In order to like be that shot caller, you have to understand that the team needs to be at the point where we're at a loss. I don't really know what to do at this point. And then they'll start listening to you. But if players are doing what they want to do, you trying to shot call that, it's just not going to work. So I have to keep kind of pressuring them. Like I, I knew they wouldn't know what to do. This is, game would be really, really difficult for them. Um, and so I was like, let's wait here for Thresh to come ward. Leon, I was like, okay, Vi was right there too. And then I wanted to ping Vi back because I said, Vi, you're going to have to be a little bit closer to, to us she was like okay and then she came up and started being closer and then we see her here right and now we know two are here i don't know where anybody else is but i know we could take this fight because there's four of us here ash is here so this is perfect vi then flashes in i'm like good she gets away leon lands a lantern or the e i flash and they try to get the stun we kill him we get slowed and i just say keep going keep going dude it doesn't even matter just keep fucking going so i'm pinging all the time um and the wukong comes i have to space myself going on woo and then I was like, fuck, who do I go? Okay, go on Lissandra. Fuck, who do I go? So I'm literally switching targets. And this goes for every role. Sometimes you gotta switch your targets. So we keep playing, we keep playing. I'm like, dude, let's do Baron. This is free. Let's get the Baron. Use the death timers. So we get that, we're able to get Baron. I was like, who? Now I said, everybody reset. Do not just go to, go. I ulted just see where they were. But I said, everybody reset. Do not just go to, to Dragon. So I teleported on Dragon. Leona, for some reason, went upwards, got caught by Tristana, but at least they traded. Um, I was able to zone off Wu for a little bit, but I had to go stop this. I didn't want to be too much of a deficit. Was that the right call? I honestly don't know. I don't think it was, but whatever. It is what it is. I told them to go for this fight, but they didn't pay attention and they started to back. And I was like, dude, this is so free. Usually I'll have one person on board with you like 24 seven, which was vibe for me, but usually the one person was. And I was like, oh no, we have to fight that. That was so free. 
And then Ash was like, oh, I didn't know we were fighting. And I was like, it's okay. Just next time, you know, just try to follow my pings because if we don't, we're probably gonna lose. If we, if we, if we, if we keep doing that type of thing, we're gonna just keep losing. Or we're gonna end up losing. She was like, okay, I'm sorry. And I was like, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Remember, be nice, be sympathetic. They're people, they're not fucking robots. So I was like, um, okay, it's okay. I fucked up too. And so here we go. I'm telling them don't go in the jungle. We don't need to, there's no objectives. There's nothing in the jungle for us to get. It's fine. So this fight happens. It's not a fight that I wanted to happen, but it fucking happened. And I'm like, shit. So we end up dying for it. And I was like, you know what? So this is what I, this is literally what I told to them. You know, well, it sucks, but you know, for low elo, you guys did a really, really good job. And um, I was like, I know that might seem insulting when I say low elo, but I wasn't trying to be. It's just, that's the bracket they're in. So I was like, you know, good job. And I was happy that it was going like that. Um, so then we ended up, they ended up not ending. And I was like, what the fuck? Why did they not end this game? And then, so because I was nice and I wasn't flaming them and being an asshole, they were listening on that second chance. So I was super shocked. I was like, let's go. I didn't type that, but in my mind, I was like, we still, oh, I, I did type, we got this, but I didn't like, you know, be over enthusiastic. I was like, oh, we got one more shot. We got this. And I was like, play through me. Make sure we're playing slow. We have to play slow as fuck in order to win. And so they, they were doing their best. We only kind of starts walking up and I ping them back and I just keep reassuring them. Keep hammering the same point. We don't need to walk in there because there's no objectives up. This is fine. So we're just ping it back, and this is where I say, Vi, you gotta be closer to us. And Leona fucking once again walks in, and I'm like, oh my god, why? So I, I just wanted to send him back, Leona flies her ass in, and I'm like, well, that fucking sucks. Once again, I'm just typing, you know, Leona, don't worry, just don't walk in the jungle, there's nothing to ward for. Right here, if I would've went in, we would've lost this game, because they're playing through me at this point. They're playing through every single thing. It's gonna be a domino effect, but they're playing through me. So I'm just pinging it back, it's okay, it's okay, back, 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 and just defend, right? And this game is looking bleak, bro. I don't even want to fight here. Just pinging them back, being careful, pinging them back, pinging them back, pinging them back. They got ocean. I mean, they got mountain soul, bro. We don't got shit. So we're, we're picking them back, picking them back. And then the fight breaks out, right? And I'm just looking to one shot somebody. So we get Lissandra. I'm like, cool. We get that bitch out. And then I see Tristana jumping. And I'm like, okay. Fuck, I pulled the wrong card, but whatever. Got it. Okay. And then we get Misfortune. And then I TP in. Ash, of course, for some reason, not the fucking aim arrow. Like, he's not going up. He's going this way, but. It's okay, you know, people fuck up. Once again, it's not, it's not, it's not her fault. So I, in my mind, you see how I ping the ash, the ash, um, you probably can't see if my head's in the way, huh? Oh, you can, okay. Uh, a little brief animation. Um, you see that I ping the ash arrow, right? I ping that because I wanted to see the timer between the ash arrow and the elder dragon. And in my mind, I'm like, fuck, we don't have ash arrow because elder dragon spawning 20 seconds before the ash uh, arrow comes in. Um, so I was like, damn. So in my mind, I'm just kind of thinking like what to do. And then I seen that they were here, but also I'm paying attention to this shit. That's pushing, Wukong just pushed me. So I just type force, force, force. We have to force, we have to force. So I'm just fucking telling them to go. Luckily they were on Baron. Even if they weren't on Baron, I would have still told them to force it. We get it. I'm like, let's fucking go. Um, right here, she's about to end. Luckily Kel TP'd. And this isn't a game where I'm saying I carried it. I just shot called. They definitely still play their part. They didn't play their part properly because they were mad or they were something like that we wouldn't have won they definitely did their shit and um me just shot calling helped a lot i think too so i really did make a mistake here i believe i, I talked to him don't worry that was a good good trade good job you guys played that fight well you don't want to be over fucking good job every kill good job guys. good job guys i've seen a video like that don't do that don't be that guy that shit does not it's annoying and especially when you don't do something good and then in, or when you do something good and they don't even say good job i don't know it, it's just annoying it comes to expect it it's not worth it but every now and then when something really good happens that's when you guys say good job so i ult, i said okay we're gonna have to play through my ult so i ult in um i instantly zone yes to try to make a play here luckily the elder fucking ticked with scorch that i had on my on, on him actually do i have scorch i don't even think i have scorch i don't know what the fuck did it um, but yeah, we get that, and I should have just backed, but I tried to play this fight my fucking self, and I thought, well, maybe I can win it, um, and then she taps me, I'm like, fuck. And, I, and I, I didn't say anything, just in my mind, I was like, oh, fuck, I just threw the game. But luckily, they were able to defend it, and I was like, let's fucking go, right? 
And so I'm like, let's push mid, let's push mid, just push mid, deal with the deaths. And then Tristana goes. Now I ain't seen this happening, but I wanted to try to kill Miss Torchin. But I pulled the fucking wrong card. And uh, then Wukong comes in, and then Leona pinged me. Um, and she was like, dude, blah, blah, blah. And in my mind, I want to be like, I did one mistake and you're flaming me, but I was, whatever. I was like, she's like, we're, we're fighting Tristana. And I was like, yeah, I know. I think she expected me to flame the team or something like that. I definitely made that mistake. I threw the fuck out of that. It was my fault. And I think she was thinking that I was going to flame her, but that's not what happened. Um, so they get that. And I'm like, cool, let's fucking go. And I said, okay, I'm going to, when we, we're going to group mid. When we push, I'm going to press R so I can see where they are. If they are, if they are around here, then we'll, then we won't push. But if they are in front of us, then of course we'll push. I didn't word it like that. I worded it way simpler, but way more simple. But pretty much I was basically like, we'll push. If I ult and I see them, then we won't commit. So I ult here, try to get the flash on it. She jumps over the wall. I'm like, dude, let's get Baron. I stun her, just trying to zone her off. They kill her. We get Baron here. Lissandra's going. We have to back up. I don't know why Leona went fucking in like that. I think she thought I needed her. But luckily, you know, I zone you as we were able to get the kill here. I did throw, and I was just telling them. I had to really type to them, because they wanted to help Ash. I was like, don't worry, go Baron, 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 Ash got it, go Baron, Baron, Ash has it, go Baron, Baron, and then they finally fucking turned, and they went to the Baron, I was like, thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. So they do get Baron, this is good, and I said the same thing, all right, I'm gonna, we group up, I'm gonna ult, and if we see them in front of us, I'll just commit. So I'm sitting back, picking my team back, Ash, Ash, back, 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 we don't have Ash, and the team backs up, because I didn't want them to get caught out. Clearing bot so that they have to push another wave. Instantly go in for the ult. Instantly look for the Zonias. I didn't have the Zonias here, but I just did it. Um, and we were able to fight this fight here. And luckily we were able to fight. I wanted to back and then teleport back in, but I was like, eh, fuck it. Wukong committed there. Ended up killing. That shit was awkward. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Like, she's still alive. And then... What? Oh, Knight's Vow! Knight's Vow did that. Wow, that's insane. Anywho, so I agreed it here. I shouldn't have done what I did, but I just thought that I, we were okay. So I try to like walk in and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I was just trying to get autos on. I, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. But they're able to commit and they're able to clean it up. And I was like, good fucking job. Let's goddamn go. But this game would not have been won if A, I quit, B, I said, do fuck you guys, I'm gonna fucking split, C, I was an asshole to anybody, and this is what you have to kind of realize, is that understand the game, understand how they're playing, understand your comp. We have a Kel, we have a uh, Vi, we have a Twisted Fate, we have an Ash, we have a Leona. I had to tell them, in the middle of the game, we don't win 5v5s, so we have to look for a pick. I have to pick our Ash, they have, we, have a, we have a pick comp, they have a fight comp, right? And you have to make sure that when you're shot calling, you actually make sense. Don't just be a person shot calling when it goes bad, you're pissed. Or don't be a person shot calling, don't really understand what the fuck they're talking about. You have to make it make sense. If I'm like, don't fight 5v5, the fuck do you want us to do then? Right? <laughs> but if you make it make sense, it's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And hopefully their fucking gears in their head is going to turn. As I said, these guys definitely did their part. I did not care this game other than with shot calling. They had to make sure they played. You're gonna be like, well, our teammates suck sometimes, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, sometimes you have sucky teammates. But it doesn't mean they don't know how to play. Some people can play really well outside of lane. Some people play like shit in lane. Sometimes it's me. Sometimes it's my teammates. But you have to understand, later in the game happens. I had to be like, Kel, go push top. You know, don't walk in the jungle. It's fine. Just make sure you're farming. Um, and then I was like, you know, just play together, play slow. We'll look for picks. And that's probably the best thing that we got going for us. Every now and then I fucked up, but once again, you have to remember, you cannot make a call and fuck it up. Or you cannot make a play and fuck it up. You can't get caught. You have to be the one leading the team, and the leader can't be the one always fucking dead. So you got to make sure that you, even if you are not, and I wasn't even doing that with this game. I ended 11, 9, and 12, so I was fucking inting. When I started shot calling, dude, I was like, I was, I thought I was inting. Okay, I wasn't really inting, I guess, but. Yeah, I thought I was like hello worse. I thought I was like zero and three or something, but I guess I wasn't. But uh, yeah, so pretty much when you're upset, when you're dealing with stuff, you're gonna have to do your best to be nice about it when you're shot calling. And you're gonna have to be, do your best to understand what you're shot calling. You can't be a shot caller and just make no fucking sense. You have to understand that your what your comp does, what their comp does. You have to understand how we're gonna play these fights. You have to understand what's the best course of action for everybody. 
Some people just think shot calling is go to Baron, go to Baron, go to Dragon, go to Dragon. I mean, it is a form, but that's not really telling your team what to do. Um, that's just pinging them and suggesting. So you have to literally dictate the game if you want to carry the games that are this fucking difficult. As I said, though, I'm a high level player and, and I am a coach, so I can dictate this a lot easier. But there are a lot of hard, hard games where um, if I type and actually get in the game, we can win. But sometimes I'm just lazy and I don't do it. But for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys aren't pinging. A lot of you guys aren't telling your team what to do specifically. And as I said, you don't want to just fucking... You have to make sense. You got to understand. You can't fucking call out people. Can't be like mad. If I were like, Kel, don't walk in the dot damn jungle, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to be like, we don't need to walk in the jungle. There's really no objectives up. And if we get picked, right? It's a we thing. Listen, you're, just not, you're not saying you're not calling someone out. So I hope this helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, I know this was a long kind of winded video. Let me know in the comments below or let me know on my Discord. As I said, 200 subscribers for free coachings and um, we do free power reviews. Make sure you link your op.gg. But until next time, thank you guys for approaching this like a coach. I don't plan on uploading videos on other days. Just sometimes if I do feel like I'm gonna upload it on, a, on, a, on an off day, it's just because I have a specific reason to. So I hope this helped you guys and a good luck on your client. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, you know what I always say? Thank you for coaching this like a pro. Thank you for approaching this like a coach. I always fuck it up. All the time.